Hello once again audience, I'm Mad Cow, also known as Michael, and today I'll be playing some Elder Scrolls Online Beta. So I've been chosen for the online beta for this weekend, and let's get started with the character creation. So first off, as you can see, you can choose your race, your class, your body type, and your face type. So I'm just going to go through all of these. So I can be Breton, who is basically a human. High Elf, which is very good at magic. Or Agonian, who is... I'm not sure what they're good at, actually. I believe it's her uh, fist-to-fist fighting. As you can see, as I swap across, it's also changing the alliance that I'm in between the Daggerfall Covenant, the Old Mary Dominion, and the Ebonheart Pact. So next up we have the Orc, who is... Uh, who gets bonuses for heavy armour and health regeneration. The Wood Elf, who is... who has more stamina and is better at archery. And then the Dark Elf, who has fire magic and fire resistance. And on the last line we have the red guards. We have the Khajiit. And we have the Nords. So I will be going as a Khajiit. Just because that's what I used to play in Skyrim. I'll name my character Madcow8991. Or apparently just Mad Cow. So now we go into the classes. So you can be a Dragon Knight, who are skillful masters at arms. He is the ancient Akavari martial arts tradition of battle spirit and wield fearsome magic, magic that pounds, shatters, and physically alters the world around them. Next up we have the Sorcerer. Sorcerers summon and control weather. Uh, they can hold lightning bolts and create electric fields, summon tornadoes and impenetrable fog. They do this using Daedric forces. Then there's the Nightblade. Nightblades are adventurers and opportunists, and they have a gift for getting in and out of trouble. Relying on various stealth and blades and speed, Nightblades thrive on conflict, misfortune, trusting their luck and cunning to survive. And finally, there's the Templar. These travelling knights call upon the powers of light and the burning sun to deal massive damage to their enemies while restoring health, magicka, and stamina to their allies. So I'm going to be playing as a Nightblade. Next, I'll choose the body type. So here you can choose how large and, thi and uh, thin your character is and also how muscular. So I'm going to have a nice mix between um, muscular and large. He's going to be quite high, and as you can see you can also lock that in. So that can't be changed then unless you unlock it. So you can also choose your skin colour, which as you can see takes a little time to update on your character. I'm going to probably have mine as black. No. Uh, let's see. That looks like a nice colour for a cat. As you can see, you can also choose any body markings that you have on there. These may be skin textures, or they could be um, tattoos and things. As you can see, you can also choose your torso size, your chest size your gut size, your waist size, your arm size and your hand size for the upper body and then the same for the lower body you can change the hip size, the posterior dimensions, the leg size and the foot size. Now I forgot to mention that you can turn around your character, you can also zoom and you can also see what they look like in veteran gear and in no gear, if I can click the right one. So 
So that's what my character looks like in veteran gear. He looks a bit like he has the Dragonborn helmet on, just without the horns. And now I'm going to enter the face. So here you have the same sort of triangle system between heroic, angular and soft. So I want my face to be quite heroic but angular. So here you can also choose the voice. So if I start with voice A, I then play it. B. So as you can see, all they do is when you press the play button over here, it causes your character to laugh. I believe it was C I quite like. So now I choose the hairstyle. For this I'm going to go into the no gear preview and turn it so I can see his side. So as you can see there is a very Skyrim like character customization to do this. So I'm going to go with that hairstyle in that colour, in black. Okay then, so you can also choose any features such as age which darkens the skin and causes wrinkles in slight places. You can also do how adorned he is, so whether he has piercings, sideburns, beards etc. I quite like the bushy sideburns you can have. You can also choose any face markings that you have. So these are the red markings that you have on your face. So I quite like that one. I'm going to check it with the novice gear as that's what you normally start with. So I'm happy with what the face looks like, so I'm not going to be changing any of these. But as you can see, you can also change the eye colour. So I like mine in red because it makes my character look very fierce. You can also change any of the features with the eyes, shape and distance and things. Same with the nose, a mouth and ears. So when I click create, the character is already in use. Let's try that. There we go. So unfortunately I believe this does have uh, currently the Skyrim type loading screens in which they do take forever to load. So I will cut back when it's loaded. And we're back. So as you can see, you start in a sort of prison area. I also found out when trying to fix a problem with the UI that when you press ESC, you can see the front of your character as well as all of the side things. So according to the messaging in the top right, I need to put, search the cell. So search through all the fog. So then, you've been through an ordeal. Take a few moments to collect yourself. What's happening? Like you, Who I am a prisoner you? in this place. Yet so much more. I am the past and the future, both. I am despair and hope. The tapestry we weave is a complex one. You cannot hope to see its pattern in its entirety. Not yet. What do you want from me? You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. You must escape from this cell, take up arms, and protect yourself. Then find Lyris Titanborn. Lyris Titanborn? Who is that? I don't understand.
You know what? Fuck you, you too. There. We are escaping. Let me open your door. That's it. Quickly. You must escape before the guards return. Quickly. Follow Urgesim. There are weapons in the forge beyond these cells. Arm yourself. So as you can see, as I sprint, the stamina beacon is slowly going down. So now I get to choose a weapon. Something to defend yourself from so the that could be axe, bow and arrow. I'm going to be choosing dual wield sword if I can find it. Apparently not, so I'm going to be choosing the bow. So, ah. Uh, I will also be choosing, apparently not, the sword and shield. So, as you can see, you can also zoom out in, with your mouse wheel. I now need to choose this. So, mouse over an item to see that item's um, properties. Press E over an item to uh, view an action. Right click to see any other action. So I'm going to press E. So I can execute a light attack, a heavy attack, I can take defensive posture, and I can also interrupt enemies. So if I now get out of that, de crouch. An enemy. Strike it down. So as you can see I've now got my bow and arrow out. There's also our skeletal warrior. He seems to just focus for me. Do not slow the vestige. With the passing of time any indecision becomes decision. So if I now take all. I now have one goal. So as you can see, I'm now leaving the Bleeding Forge. Another enemy blocks the path ahead. Dispatch it quickly. So as you can see, there is a skeletal archer now. Which means that I'm going to need to keep moving. Whoa there. Are you alright? Good fighting. So as you can see I've now leveled up, so I'm going to show you the uh, skill points. So, so as a Khajiit, I can choose my title, my alliance rank, my, and then I can choose to increase magicka, health or stamina. So I always seem to increase health. So then to commit points you press E. Okay. Now in character skills, you can choose I'm going uh, between your class skills, so I can choose assassination, shadow, or siphoning. You can also choose your weapon, your armor, your racial benefits, so I can choose things like medium armor expertise, and your craft. So I'm going to be choosing some assassination skills, which will be my assassin's blade which deals 17 magic damage and low health targets take 300% additional damage so I will now press E to lock that in I'll then press 1 to use that ability when in battle to get out of that you then um, basically press I it um, escape you've got more meat on your bones than most of these poor bastards and I see you've armed yourself, good You've still got some fight left in you. You're going to need it. Who are you? A fellow prisoner. The name's Lyris. Lyris Titanborn. I was told to find you. Who told you to find me? A strange figure appeared in my cell. An old man in rags. Oh, he spoke to you? What did he say? He said our fates are intertwined. Ha. That sounds like the prophet, all right. He's a prisoner here, too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. Must think you can help me. I can still hear his voice in my head. What does he want me to help you to do? Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. 
That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Temriel's a long way from here. Keep your weapon ready and stay sharp. This place is full of surprises. I have so I'm many sure questions. And I'll answer them as best I can. Who he's is this prophet? One, no doubt about it. But he's the wisest man I've ever met. He sees things. Past, future. If he told you to find me, he must have had a very good reason. What is this place? Where am I? We're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the most miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's paradise compared to Cold Harbor. And to top it off, well, there's no easy way to say it. You're dead. Then how are we having this conversation? I don't know. Once we rescue the Prophet, he can tell you about the gods and the ways of oblivion. I don't understand any of it myself. If I'm A dead, man named Manamarco. His worm cult is doing some kind of ritual back in Tamriel. They sacrificed you and everyone in this prison to the Daedric Prince Molag Baal. After you died, whatever was left showed up here. They call you the Soul Shriven. What does it that mean? You're a slave and you'll spend the rest of eternity here in Cold Harbor, working under the lash of the Daedra. Unless, of course, you come with me. Bye. As you can see, not as heavily patrolled as the other routes out of the prison. Okay, then. So as you can see, it's a Tempo lot like. Is a mighty and noble warrior. Trust in her. I seriously wish this thing would stop interrupting me. But as you can see, the it starts off a lot like um, Skyrim did, Confidence is a beast with there heads, being each is cut off. the. Uh, with there being the starting off in prison. Or something similar to that. Do not lose heart, Vestige. You are close now. Sentinels are at the top of those towers. We need to find a way up. What are these Magical sentinels? constructs created by Molag Baal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. How can I we destroy no it? Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. Be ready for anything. I doubt Molag Baal left the Sentinels unguarded. Let's go. So as you can see, if I press control, there's a very Skyrim-like uh, um, sneaking pattern. So I'm going to help uh, these people with the uh, flame action arts. So I'm going to search it and take its gold. So as you can see, these people are all part of the. The sentinels are connected. If we just. Are all part of the beta test. So 
So you can also add people as friends, invite to your group, send a whisper, invite to trade, or you can report a player. So I'm just going to wait. So apparently that isn't the right way. Okay then, so apparently that is not the right way to go. That seems to be a flame match for that. So I'm now going to run, turn around and attempt to shoot it. Got it. So while I continue just to run around in circles, Apparently through water and all. So I'm going to continue doing, working my way around. And when I get there I will cut back. Destroying these as I go. He's blinded. We must get to the prop itself. Where's that? You mean I need to go all the way back down now? Oh. The god of brutality knows of your escape. Hurry. I never would have guessed that. Just running, 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 running past all. Running, 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 running past all. So I'm guessing that would be the door that I tried. I'm now going to kill this son of it. triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Maybe Cadwell can help us. Who's Cadwell? Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. How can a madman possibly help us? Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home, and he knows it like the back of his hand. He's usually down by the river. Let's go find him. Let's find this Cadwell.
So as you can see, you don't actually need to fight anything around here. You can just run. However, it can be very dangerous. As you can see, I've almost lost the majority of my health. Just from one feral shriver. And apparently a couple of astronauts. I'm guessing that this man is Cadwell. Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Lovely day for it. You must Sir be Cadwell. Cadwell. Yes, indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you then? We're trying to get inside the Prophet's enclosure. The door is sealed. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? I tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. How do we get through all that? Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. The like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. Where's the entrance? Follow the river. You'll find the door to the undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the Prophet straight away. Do give him my best. Thanks. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? Goodbye. So I'm guessing that this is the right way. Through here. You are a stupid twat. Same as every other assistant in this godforsaken game. to continue travelling around. That's the skeletal archer apparently. So while he's distracted I'm going to not search the empty trunk. I'm going to explore this way. Along with after brunette. So apparently these trunks do not auto refill. Or if they do, they do take their time. So for some reason my character just zoomed out. Due to swimming I'm guessing. So I'm enjoying this as I'm having to not go through any of these uh, traps. So I'm going to keep running. Ow. And I suppose I just climb up this ladder now. The prophet's cage should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. So now I suppose I just follow her. Good news is we made it here in one piece and the prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tanriel. 
I'm not going with you. What do you mean? Where are you I going? I probably should have mentioned this before, but it never seemed like the right time. There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. Don't do this, Lyris. There must be another way. Me, I wish there was, but I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molag Ball isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. The Prophet chose you for a reason. Get him to safety. I'll be fine. I'll keep him safe. There are magical locking devices on either side of the cage. You need to deactivate both of them so I can begin the transfer. Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. I understand. Good luck. Give myself! 